Hey guys, welcome back to Daring Place. This time, a lot of drinks online. So, a lot of drinks online, not really that popular like World of Warcraft, but it's still a pretty good game. Anyway, I just want to show you how you can um, solo challenge mode um, the school of Dan Midrand. I don't know what it's called. School of Dan Mirdain. Uh, this is the easiest instance in the whole game, I would say. It's a three man, but can be easily soloed by almost any class. And the champion, which is what I'm gonna play, can also um, do the challenge alone, which I don't think any other class can do. Let's gonna s start this up. So there's only tier one, so there's no hard mode in this. Uh, I'm gonna run this as a yellow traded deadly storm champion till to the end boss and then we're gonna switch over to the mar martial champion just for the extra hit points um gear wise i do have a first age but you should be able to do this with a second age oh, my armor is just uh, i have one essence piece the rest is only um doll armor of armor and i actually have to switch over i I did a test one earlier and I had my vitality gear in, so I gotta switch over to my DPS gear real quick. Should have done that first, sorry about that. Just need the, the vitality gear for the end boss. Okay. Um, so you can do it easily with a second age, and you don't need great gear. A uh, reason why I think only the champion can do it is because of uh, the AoE, you need to kill stuff fast. Alright, so let's get started here, wait till that troop comes in. And then start. Now, the guys here are really annoying. They take away your weapons, and then you can't do anything. So make sure to take some. Uh, it's a wound. So it's make sure to take some wound potions with you, and also make sure to use your fear nothing skill to get rid of on uh, one wound. You can see the the mobs here are really weak. And you should have any problems killing them. If you never played a, a yellow champ, I would really recommend it. And if you do, make sure to always use your wild attack, which gives you 5% critical hit chance. And to use your. Yeah, I don't have a weapon again. And to use your blade storm, which will give you another uh, 1200 crit rating and minus 20% uh, attack duration. Get this guy in there here too. And then pretty much just AoE as much as you can. Should be pretty easy as a check. Uh, I'm not gonna do the side quests, uh, they're not worth doing. You get 40 marks, which really is nothing. Alright, get the next troop here. This is also a really fast instance. Uh, you can easily do it if you have to wait on somebody for doing a run or something. And because right up here is going to be this troop, it's going to be our first boss. If you have problems with this first boss, um, you can switch over to either red line or blue line. It should be fine. I'm going to stick with yellow line and it should go just fine. Just going to go in. Stun those back guys. And basically what you want to do is just AoE as much as you can. You want to kill the adds as fast as possible and just concentrate on the boss. If you need to, don't be afraid to use your fight on. The cooldown is not that bad. Alright, so now this is going to take a little bit since we yellow traded. If we were red traded, this would go a lot faster. But if you yellow traded, you kill the adds significantly faster, which I think is more important. Okay, almost dead, and he's dead. Okay, we're gonna loot this. Oh, we don't get anything good. Now you could kill the blade down here, but again, it's it's not worth your time. You get forty-seven marks or something. It's really not significant. All right, so this is the boss room, and 
the challenge is once you start the fight uh, the books on the side will burn and we have to save them normally you need or what you normally do is you have one guy just run in pull all the ads run out while the other two will save the books or if you have enough damage you just go all in and aoe and then you do the books since we do this solo we have to clear the whole room really fast within 20 seconds you take longer than 20 seconds the books will burn down so we need to do it um in 20 seconds so what you can do is the guys in the back you can pull them without starting the fight so we're gonna pull both sides and since the archers gonna have to run back so otherwise the archers would just you know shoot us down without us being able to reach them I'm gonna stunt here. I'm not gonna do my uh, blood rage. I wanna save it for the main fight. Which is really annoying. And it took our weapon too. Let's just take a potion for that. Right. Kill those four guys. Okay. So you can also pull the last group of the Dundling warriors, but if you're not careful and those pathers are close by, the main fight will trigger. So what you want to do is you want to wait till they come back here, and then you want to pull it. But also be mentally prepared to run in in case you do pull wrong. Um, it happens. Just be prepared in worst case scenario, you have to run in and kill them fast. Because once we start the main fight, we have to do it within 20 seconds. Oh Alright, so I pulled them, but I didn't start the fight. Get rid of them real quick. Okay. Right, so this is all you can pull without triggering the main fight. The main fight will go, we have to kill those 8 adds and then the boss will trigger. But as long as we don't attack the boss, we have time to uh, clear out the books for the challenge. So when you start this fight, you want to make sure to have your Great Cleave ready for the 25% more area effect skill. And you want to make sure those pathers are very close to the entrance of the... Uh, closest to you, so you don't have to run to the Archer. So we're gonna wait till he comes close. And do our Battle Rage. And we're gonna start it. We're gonna stun them so we don't get disarmed or stunned ourselves. And it took us 10 seconds to clear this whole room. Which is really fast. I think that's the fastest I've ever done this. Now the boss is activated, but he won't attack us unless we attack him. And that's, this will give us the time to, clear, uh, to save all the books. And once we save all the books, we've done the challenge. So it's really easy, and this is why we, you can solo this challenge. Um... But as I said, I don't think any other class can really do it because you have to clear this room within 20 seconds. And I don't think any other class has that kind of damage. I tried it on my Minstrel and it took me, you know, like 25 to 30 seconds. A uh, Lawmaster might be able to, but my Lawmaster is not geared enough to do this. Okay. When you do this, make sure you hack the wall as much as you can. Get close on this side, the boss will trigger. You don't want that. It takes forever to do this. Dun, 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 dun. And then once we start the boss, I will switch um, to blue line. Because in yellow line, uh, it just it does too much damage to me in yellow line that I can survive it. I tried in red line, but the same thing. Um, he does too much damage and just can't heal it. In blue line, it's pretty easy. And you have enough heals to survive. Okay, and the last book. And then... Come on. And finish the challenge. Um, got 235 marks and 70 medallions, so that's pretty good. Alright, let's go back to combat. Alright, so now we have to switch over to blue line. I just have to set up, so you basically just put all your points in blue things and a little bit in yellow. You can put it in red, that's fine too. Uh, for the boss fight it actually probably would be better to get the crit chance and stuff. But it's the setup I have. 
I'm also gonna change out a little bit of my gear just to have a few more hit points. And also to get my um, equip bonus of plus 10% chance of healing myself for 10. 10% morale, which is nice, but I don't think you need it. Okay. Alright, so we're ready to start this fight. <laughs> he will do a big hit right at the beginning. So don't be afraid to either hit fight on or to hit. What is it? A true Horix. Or to hit Dire Need right away. Um, you probably stay in this fight too long, uh, long enough for the cooldown to to recover. But then all you want to do is just hit bracing attack every time it comes up. Um, hit your sudden defense when you have five fervor, so your bubble is nice and big, and just you know damage him down. It's gonna take a while. Uh, you can see over here our DPS is only fifteen hundred, um, but. We were red line. We couldn't get that DPS up a lot higher, but this way we can survive really easy. I mean, you can see our hit points. We have 24,000 hit points right now, and can heal ourselves very good. Uh, Blue line champion gets a heal when he gets down to I think 20% hit points. It will almost heal us. We still have dire need. We need to. Uh, we have unbreakable, which I actually should put in. It's not a nice heal. We have adamant if we need it, so we, we shouldn't have any problems with this boss. It's just gonna take a little bit. All right, go pop ups whenever they come up. And, um, this is it's a little bit boring. If your power ever goes down um, too much, you can hit second wind, which will basically recover your power all the way. He's pushing us back. Okay, now he's gonna do his AoE attacks here pretty soon, right here. Uh, my hit points are pretty low, so what I'm gonna do is, we want to stay away from this, I'm gonna hit Adamant because we get more damage as soon as he stops doing this. And then I'm gonna hit Dire Need after I hit Bracing Attack again for the healing bonus. And there we are up to 18,000 again. And that, sh hopefully we can kill him before he does um, this AoE attack again. Actually getting low on power, so I'm gonna hit um, Second Wind once our fur is up. There we go. Gonna interrupt his attacks. Come on. We have another sudden defense, and remember we have another heal waiting in case our health points go too low. I'm not shouldn't be afraid yet. And even so, and our uh, fight on is... Um, cooldown is only 15 seconds left, so we're pretty good dead here. And he's almost dead. I said our DPS is very low, but mm, it's the only way I was able to beat him in blue line. And here we go. Got him. Got another 70 marks, another 11 medallions. And we got both chests. So we got the normal chest and the challenge chest. Challenge completed. See if we get any good loot. Probably not. So you don't really get good loot out of here. It's just, you know, something to do. But you can get Crystal of Remembrance out of here if you're lucky or some stats box. But yeah, this is how you can do school run update 15.1 on a champion challenge um, solo. Thank you for watching and if you like this consider hitting the like button or uh, subscribe and I will put out more content like this. Thank you very much.